Jeremy TV. All right, so I'm out here in my barn again, and if everything came out right on editing and the way videos were published, then you saw that we took a little bit of a break from the barn project, but now we're back to it. Now, if the editing didn't come out right and everything didn't come out the way I thought, then you may not have seen those other projects that were not barn related. So if that's the case, disregard that part. But everything coming along pretty good. We've got electricity in the barn, as you can see by the lights up there. Uh, I've got two outlets on the, the east wall and the west wall, and then I've got one outlet on the south wall. Of course, the north wall is just mainly doors. And I've got three LED shop lights along the, along the length, so basically every other truss. And then I've got a motion light on the outside of the barn that's also LED. So uh, it was a lot of work to run power just to get those few items, and it was a pretty decent expense. But um, I didn't have to pay an electrician, thankfully, because my dad, he's an electrician, and he came and did that for us. So I'm thankful for his help on this deal, and um, you know, he's always been great to help me with stuff like that, and, and I, I appreciate him a lot, probably a lot more than I ever really tell him. So if he's watching, thanks, Pops. Appreciate you. Um, but today, I want to get out here and put some dirt here in the floor of the barn and try to get this a little bit more level and maybe raise it up an inch or two and then call this inside part good, and probably so I can go back out and focus on the outside. So again, if the editing works out the way I thought and the videos come out in the order, I think they will. Uh, one of the previous videos was me cleaning up out here in front of the doors. And it was because the, the grade was sloping back toward the building over here kind of on that west side. And now I think I've kind of pushed it back to where it's, well, I know I'm pushed it back to where it's sloping that way. The funny thing is the way your eyes trick you in relation to the rest of the land that part over there on the west side to me looked like it was still sloping a little bit um, toward the barn when in fact it's it's actually running about an inch or two downhill from the barn towards the north this right here that i kind of thought was probably level is actually running about six inches downhill when you put a laser level on it so man you just can't trust your eyes when you're doing this kind of stuff i learned that leveling this pad for the barn so um, that really still kind of needs to be cleaned up and smoothed out a little bit. I want to get that west side running a little bit more downhill before I call that good because I'm also going to bring gravel in here and, and it'll raise that up just a little bit. I don't want to raise it up to where water runs back in the door of the barn. And then of course I've still got the grating over here on the west side to take care of in the event of a big rain. It's better than it was, and the barn is still higher than the rest of it, but that part over there holds so much water because of that cliff that I'm afraid if we got a huge rain, more than an inch or so, it wouldn't be sloped enough to handle all that water, and it would still run back in the barn. So I need to get more pushed back to the west and, and get it graded off that direction somehow. Either put, either make it into a V right here or continue pushing it west. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just so sick of moving dirt at this point. I don't really want to do any more, but I know I need to. And then over here again on the east side is um, the original barn pad that I started working on. That was actually site number two. But it's pretty good, but I need to clean it up still a little bit more. It needs to be leveled better so I can start mowing it when the grass comes in. So I'm going to start today. I'm going to get the cars and the tractor moved out of here so I can start bringing in a little bit of dirt and uh, get this floor leveled up. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with that.
All right, so I've got it uh, pretty smooth. It's a lot better than it was. Uh, so there were some areas in here that were kind of low spots and that, that a lot more evened out. Um, I probably didn't raise it as much as I thought I would, but that's okay because I'll bring in gravel that'll raise it at least another inch. And I don't know that I want to go a whole lot higher than that anyway. So um, I'm going to probably take the rake and do a few things by hand up along these edges. But um, then I'm going to bring the tractor in here and, and run it back and forth and, and basically tamp this down. I don't know that it needs to be tamped, but it makes me feel better when I get it done. Because it's not like it's going to rain on it. It's not going to wash out anywhere, but I just like the looks of it after it's been tamped. So I'll probably drive back and forth through here a few times and get her smashed down just a little bit. And then once I'm able, I'll get some gravel brought in and, and get this done. I think once I've got this done out here in the front, and it's pretty close to being good, but once I'm satisfied with it, that's when I'll bring the gravel in and, and get this little landing area done, get the back inside the barn done, and then get the, the driveway approach up here to the landing area done as well. It's probably gonna take three loads of gravel. I thought maybe I could get by with two, but I think it's gonna take three. Cause this, this out here will probably take one load. The inside of the building will probably take one, and then the driveway will take close to one. And what I've got left over, I can use back inside the building so anyway I'm gonna get to get to tamping down and get that done So I'm pretty happy with that. It's uh, it's a lot more level than it was before, and I've got it tamped down as much as I can. It's a little hard to do it in straight lines when you're maneuvering in this small space. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna call that good and move on to the next part of the project, which will probably be working on the grading over there on the west side. So appreciate you being here. Hope you enjoyed that video, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.